Hey, man, don't sleep, man. Literally. <laughs> Stay up, man. Don't be in your bed, man. Check your beds and all that type of stuff, man. We got a crazy little video right here, man. You know, it's kind of sad for real. But uh, hit the link in the bio, man. Got you some sea moss. It's just some sea moss body wash, man. Get you some black body wash, man. Get you some non-fluoride toothpaste. Get you some thinking. It's free merch. Hit the thinking mind store and do all that type of stuff. Man, appreciate y'all, man. 20,000 followers, man. We up. The family of a man who died at the Fulton County Jail is now demanding action. They say he was essentially eaten alive by insects and bedbugs while in custody. <sighs> Tracy A. McPierce spoke with him just hours ago. She's joining us now live from the Fulton County Courthouse. Tracy? Well, LaShawn Thompson had been held in the psych wing of the jail for three months when an officer found him unresponsive in his cell. His family tells me by that point, they couldn't even recognize him. Damn. Come on, man. That's the worst way to die, man. Eaten alive by bed bugs. <sighs> he was definitely a heavy set guy. And from those pictures, he looks totally different. He's not the same person. Brad McCray says these pictures of his brother that he shared with us, 35-year-old LaShawn Thompson, are hard to look at. His cell at the Fulton County Jail covered in filth and his body covered in sores and bites from bed bugs and lice. It looked like he wasn't eating in jail or malnutrition or maybe the bed bugs did it. The Fulton County Medical Examiner report lists his cause of death as undetermined, but noted a severe bed bug infestation. The family says Thompson was brought to the jail on a misdemeanor simple battery charge in June. That's crazy. In the psych wing because the jail was aware of his schizophrenia. They are now demanding the jail be closed and law enforcement open a criminal investigation. So we need a change in the system. The Fulton County Sheriff's Office told 11 Alive its Office of Professional Standards is investigating Thompson's death and will determine if criminal charges are warranted. The agency wouldn't speak to us on camera today but said in a statement it spent $500,000 to address an infestation of bed bugs, lice, and other vermin after Thompson's death and updated security rounds to include addressing sanitary conditions. Hey, man, check on your people, man. So you mean to tell me he didn't get no phone calls, sent out no letters, nobody in his family friends nobody was aware of this situation come on man we got to do better man we got to do better man just because your people locked up man don't mean forget about them check on your people man that's the worst way to go out he, he died by bed bug bites man that's crazy man don't sleep man don't sleep man <laughs> Whew.